Okay, Darren here. I'm going to show you some quick, simple, easy boat detailing and cleaning tips. This is reserved for the interior. Uh, interior of boats uh, generally are light colored uh, due to the fact that they sit in the sun and the manufacturers know that in places of the country where it gets really hot, the uh, interior will heat up to the temperature of the sun if it's anything other than a white or light gray interior. So this light white, actually it's just white, is represents a big challenge because if you look at the grain, the texture, there's always going to be texture to this material. It's vinyl and I don't know how many people have referred to their boat interior as leather. I have no idea why but I promise you it's not leather. So it's vinyl, it's synthetic, but it has a grain, a texture to it. And the dirt settles in, people slide across it, uh, they clean it casually, uh, just thinking that wiping's going to clean it, but over time the dirt will accumulate in all this grain. Never mind the piping, the accent piping, which really isn't accented because it's white on white. So if you just look around the boat, you have all these seams and crevices and cubby holes and just go down the list and it becomes a problem. So what is the solution? If you look right in here how dirty it is. So I'm going to show you uh, some very straightforward tricks. So my tools of attack are my Meguiar's Super Degreaser. It has been diluted 4 to 1. If you get the actual bottle, the markings on the back will show you exactly how to dilute it. It's very straightforward. It comes in a gallon only because it's professional use. So if you were going to dilute this four to one, you fill this up with water first to that line. Then the rest of it will be filled up with the concentrate. I've got my scrub brush. I've got my little tooth like, or I'm sorry, toothbrush like scrub brush. I've got my synthetic scrub pad. It is rather worn because I use it. And then I have my slightly used. Um, that's me being sarcastic because it's very used. This is the Miracle Racer. This is what the Miracle Racer looks like brand new. So every section, in order to get, you just break it down section by section. Each section will be uh, not all created equal. Some places will be dirt, some places will be a combination of dirt and what you might refer to as staining. So if you look up here, it would appear what I might call staining. You never know what's gonna come out until you try it. So I simply spray and you just attack and you figure out what works. This grain is not a, a, an overly thick or heavy duty grain or texture, whatever you want. But right there, I've already improved it probably 85, 90%. But I know I can see inside that grain with a very critical eye, there's still dirt. So therefore, I have to, guess what? Attack it again. This time I'm gonna opt for the brush and I'm gonna scrub further. So this, as I say, is always the problem solving moment is you test your product, you test your technique, see what works, either move forward or change course. This is working, it's just because the dirt has been allowed to sit here for so long, I will have to do repeat applications. 